All right, guys, this is a quick basic tutorial on how to make things move inside the Builder tool using the Smart Toolbox. This is a very important basic tutorial, especially for those guys who always wanted to make something more complex with their assets that they've created in Blender, make those assets move, behave, make, the, make those assets at least a little bit interactive. This could be, for example, um, doors. If you want to make a door open or if you would like to create an elevator and if you would like to click buttons and you would like something to move somewhere, if these, if these things are interesting to you, if this is what you want to do with your scene and if you don't know how to program, if you don't know how to use the SDK, you can actually use the Decentraland default builder that is available and I just want to like say this one more time. I really hope that they continue building out the builder tool into something even more powerful. But let's just have a look at what's possible today. And let's create one basic scene, one basic example for you to replicate. So before we get started, let's quickly create a scene. Um, I'm just going to keep the name default. Select the size of your land here as usual. My land is 3 by one because it has that particular layout, which is vertical. It's not horizontal. Otherwise, it will be one by three, but this one is three by one. Uh, let's create the scene. We will publish that scene later on to my land. So the, the current land cannot be occupied by another build. So I unpublished my current building. So let's add a basic object somewhere here onto the scene. We can pick up, we can pick anything, whatever it is. Let me, let me just pick this this computer here just for the fun of it so we have the little computer here in the center of the scene and we want to make it move in order to make things interactive you need the smart toolbox and it's actually located here it's this toolbox menu here most people did not even realize that they have this option and they don't know what it can do and there is actually a Decentraland video on how to use the toolbox it's a little bit more complex it tries to cover the whole toolbox but I'm just going to cover one basic example for you to get started. And then we'll see if we want to add, you know, each single item on this list here to see, if, you know, in, in order to learn everything that's possible today with that toolbox. So let's use the click area for now. The click area is basically an area that you can define where you're, you can click into as a player inside the central end. And based on that click, following that click, something uh, will happen on the scene some kind of movement some kind of interactivity so what we want to do um, you know just something really basic let's make this trigger make let's make this clickable area a little bit larger using the scaling button here it's just that you know it's easier to click once we are in the world just around that notebook and uh, let's and this is important you cannot forget that this happened to me before trying to you know after after a long break and trying to create this tutorial right you know right right from the start i missed to add that toolbox to the scene actually so you need to click on the toolbox and need to pl place it somewhere on the scene it doesn't matter where you don't have to resize it you just have to place it somewhere that, where it doesn't disturb you from placing other items the main goal is that it's on the scene once it's here it's all good we can move forward with the scene interactivity. Let's click on that object here, which is our clickable area. And let's define a rule here. So the text on the button that you are supposed to click can be defined here. I'm just going to call this click here for the sake of the tutorial. Button, click, and now we define what has to happen when the button is clicked. All right, that is good. So when we click on the click area, this is enabled. Hold on, let's quickly, okay. So now let's do the following. This is something, I mean, I haven't touched this object for some time now, so I'm a little bit rusty. Let's select the toolbox that we have placed here and let's define what needs to happen when that button is clicked, right? So basically we select our button here, we name 
the text on the button when you're about to click it, what's visible in world. You select what the button has to do. It has to register a click. I have to check on these two options. I've never used those and I actually have never seen those, I believe. Maybe those are new. But for now, let's just use the, the default click activity here. And now what needs to happen when that click area is clicked is to find just below it. So we need to select the object once again and select the toolbox that we place here on the right. And now we're going to say what needs to happen. Let's move that item somewhere. Let's move our little notebook that we have here to a different location. The most basic thing we can do. And let's say we want to move it just by one in each direction. Just for the sake of this tutorial, let's give, you know, how is that movement supposed to look like? There are different ways of um, accelerating or de decelerating the movement. There are different ways of doing it. None of those are actually that important unless you have a significant distance to move your object. So when I, in my elevator, I actually use something other than linear because I want the um, elevator to accelerate quickly, to slowly start and accelerate quickly and then very slowly stop. So over a short distance, this makes me, you know, this makes my elevator go really fast and skip all the floors that between the first and the last floor. It's kind of cool to have. But for now, let's just use the linear option, meaning the, the that object is going to move linearly or in, at, at the same speed. So once again, make sure you have the correct object selected, which is the click area, toolbox, move item. Let's select which item to move. It's the computer. We move it by one, one, one in each direction, vertically, horizontally, and in the third dimension. The speed is going to be linear and let's Let's keep speed at one. And now we are done. You can now define also an action after that movement, but we are not going to do this for this very first video. You can experiment with this yourself. It's really fun, actually. Let's just publish this whole thing to our land. I click the publish button. I selected publish to land. And now I'm going to actually select my land on the map, publish. And uh, let's jump in and see how it looks like. So what we expect to see is that we have our computer in the center of the scene. And when we approach the scene, we should be able to click on the computer and make it move by one in, th in, in all of the, along all of those axes we defined. So one, one, one. So here is the computer. Here is our message. Click here. And if we click on it, it's going to move at speed one to position one, 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 or, or by one, one, one. That, mean, that means basically one to the right, one up, and one towards us. So this is it. Like, if we click on it again, it, it just repeats that action as long as we are able to click on it. And as you can see, we can also click into the empty area here now. It's because the clickable area is not moving together with the object. It stays here. So we can keep on clicking, moving that object somewhere else, right? I think you are getting uh, the point here. This is what you can do with the builder. This is what you can do with those smart tools. This is one of the most important smart activities that you can do on the scene. Maybe we'll do a couple of more videos to you know, just discover what else is possible. But I think once you know of the existence of this toolbox and how it fundamentally works, you should be able to do some discovery on your own. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this was useful. Have a lot of fun building stuff and feel free to let me know on Twitter what you have been able to do with, um, with, this, with this tutorial. Cool. I see you sometime soon. Have a good one. Bye-bye.